welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to learn how to sew this ruched dress or a dress with a drawstring you can start it in so many ways by the side the both sides um, you can also add it to the center you, are, you can just style it anyhow you want it you can also wear it as a straight a as a free a line gown now let's get started you will need about three yards of fabric for this style so i'll first of all cut my bustier my my upper part or the bodies so i'll fold my fabric the first thing that i will measure is my shoulder i want to trim off this rough edge before i start taking my measurements now i can go ahead and start taking my measurements the first thing that i will measure is my shoulder my shoulder is 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 plus half an inch for seam allowance that is 8 i marked 8 then from that point where i marked 8 i will come down by 8 inches this 8 inches is for my armhole and one inch for my shoulder slant i'll go ahead and connect my armhole line so after connecting my armhole line i'll measure my neckline the width is three inches and the depth is three and a half inches and it is a round neck so i'll go ahead and connect my round neck and my shoulder slant as well from the point where i measured my neck width i'll connect my shoulder slant so my half length for this dress is 16 inches but i'll mark 17 inches that is 16 inches plus one inch for seam allowance half an inch for joining at the shoulder and half an inch for joining the bodies and the down parts of the gown so I'll mark my dots 4 inches and from the shoulder I'll measure my bust point. My bust point is 10 inches. This is where I'll take my bust measurement. My bust measurement is 36 divided by 4. That is 9 plus 1 inch for seam allowance. That is 10. I'll connect that to my armhole and at my waist i'll take my waist measurement my waist measurement is 27 divided by 4 that is 6.5 plus one inch for this dart that is 7.5 plus another one inch for seam allowance and that is 8.5 inches so i'll go ahead and connect my bust line and my waist line and that is all for the front part of our body so i'll cut my neckline my shoulder my armhole and i'll cut my my bust my waist and i'll cut the half length as well remember to not show sure that you will use half an inch on both sides for picking your dart and your dart will stop at 11 inches that is one inch below your bust point depending on your bust point if your bust point is 11 inches that means your dart will stop at 12 inches that is one inch below your bust point i'm done with the front part I'll go ahead and cut out the back part. I'll place it well. The back part, I'll add one inch for zipper allowance at the back. And at the neckline, I'll come down by 1.5 inches because it is a high neck at the back. But the neck, neck width will remain the same. They will be very equal at the neck width. I'll also mark my dart. That is just the difference between the front and the back. The difference is just the zipper allowance and the neck depth. 
every other measurement remains the same i'll open my zipper allowance and i'll cut my half length after that i'll go ahead and notch my dart for my back so that is all for my bodies the next thing that i will cut now is the down part of the gown the full length of this gown is like i want it to be 38 inches after drawing the strings but one thing about this dress is that we add an extra 10 inches to the length it should be it should be from 10 inches upwards so that you have some gathers after drawing your string and the dress will not be a straight dress it will be an a-shaped dress so that after drawing your strings everything you will have gathers it will pack a bit and it will fall at some parts so the full length of this dress is 38 but i'm going to be adding an extra 10 inches or more to the length so first of all i'll subtract my half length remember that our half length is 16 inches i'll subtract my half length before taking my full measurements i'm trying to minimize the waste of fabric so i'll measure i'll use the wider part as the a-line part so i placed 48 my full length remember that i said that my full length is supposed to be 38 but i made it 48 so that i will have extra for for gathers that is after drawing the drawstrings then i'll mark my half length and this is the point where i will measure my waist so for this dress you can add a dart to it but i don't want to add a dart to it then i'll make the waist to be my waist measurement the waist is 27 so i mark 27 divided by 4 plus 1 inch for seam allowance so from that point i will draw my a shape the a shape will not be too wide it will just be a moderate a moderate um a shape your waist will align with the waist of your bodies but the rest of the gown will be an a shape gown and i'll notch my dad though i won't be using these dads but i i illustrated it in case you want to add a dart to your own so after cutting the front part i will fold my fabric for the back part the front and the back will be the same the only difference is just at the zipper allowance the back i will add one inch zipper allowance to the back so i've placed my front panel on my back on my back panel so i'll add just one inch seam and um, zipper allowance at the center back and i'll draw a straight line there for my zipper allowance then i'll go ahead and cut every other measurement remains the same the only difference is the only difference is just the zipper allowance the back will have an opening where you will insert your zipper so i'm cutting it out now i'll cut out the a-shape for the back and i'll cut out the full length for the back So that is all 
for the down part the next thing that i will do is to cut out my sleeve i'll make um i wanted to make it a long puff sleeve but due to shortage of fabric i made it a short puff sleeve but you are free to add any any um, um you can you are free to add any sleeve of your choice be it a short fitted sleeve any sleeve at all that you want to use so i made mine a three quarter puff sleeve i'll go ahead and cut out my sleeve We use the wider part as the for the down part i'll make my sleeve curve and the rest will be for the puff i'll add an elastic to it the next thing that i'll cut right now is my facing i'll fold my fabric into two i'll cut my facing only for the back but if you want to only for the front but if you want you can cut a facing for the back as well so they will be equal at the neck part then i'll come down by four inches and curve it out again so this is my facing at the back part i use a bias tape for it the next thing that i will do now is to cut out what i will use for my strings for my drawstrings i'll make it 1.5 inch wide and as long as possible it should be into four it should be four because i'll add two on both sides i'll add two strings on the right side and two strings at the left side you also cut what we use for the channel for the drawstrings and that's all for the cutting so right now i'm going to add my dart to my front bodies I'll do that for the right and the left that I use half an inch for my dart and I stopped at 11 inches so sorry guys I lost my facing for this dress I'm sorry to say it but I lost my facing for this dress so I decided to use a bias tape to turn the neckline so I'm done doing that for the front I'll add my darts to the back and also turn the neckline for the back with um, a bias tape as you can see i've done that for my back part and i joined my zipper allowance for the back i like closing my zipper allowance before taking my body measurement it's helped me to it helps me to achieve a good measurement an accurate measurement i've marked my bust and my waist measurements I have done same for the back i closed the zipper allowance for the down parts of the gown i close as you can see i closed the zipper allowance before taking my measurements i'll take my measurements only for the waist the waist measurements on the down part and the waist measurements on the upper part will be the same so i will use like one inch to shape it down i'll go ahead and do the same thing for the for the other side so after doing that i will trim the excess at the down part and fold i will hem the down parts
once you close your zipper allowance please do make sure that you iron it flat so that when you rip it so when you rip the seam you can see a line where you will attach your zipper on so i later changed my mind i will use a white fabric for my drawstring i just want to add a little spice to the dress so i'll go ahead and shape my bust my waist for the right and the left side and i'll also join my shoulder i've turned it out the next thing that i will do is to go and iron it out so this is my sleeve i have added my elastic and i have shaped it so this is my bustier i have ironed it out and i trimmed my armhole line i'll keep that aside so for the down part i'll go ahead and rip off the i'll go ahead and rip the seam that i used to hold my zipper allowances together so after doing that you open the side you will trim out you will trim down your seam allowance for the side you will trim it down so that it will be like half inch so after trimming it down you place a fab a long fabric like one two inches wide you place it on the side of your or the side of of your gown and you sew down to the points where you hem your where you hem your gown So when you are approaching the down part, just cut it off. Then after sewing that way, the next thing that you will do is to place it this way and fold it over. Like after you have um, run a stitch, run a stitch on the on the first side, you will fold it over and run another stitch on the other side. I'm trying to make a channel for my drawstring. So after running this stitch, you will cut off your thread and at the middle of the channel, you will run another stitch. This will give you two channels, one for the for one string and one for the other string. remember that you add two strings on each side so that when you draw it you can tie the boots at the at the down part of the gown i will go ahead and repeat this same method at the left side of my gown this applies only at the lower parts of your gown from the half length to the full length of your gown so I'm folding this one over and after I'll go ahead and run a stitch at the middle. This will give me two channels for my two drawstrings for each side of the gown. So you go ahead and iron it out. And after ironing, I have folded my drawstrings. This one, these drawstrings are white. I'll advise you to make it a little bit tinier than this one. So I'll go ahead and insert my drawstring on the channels that I made for them. Two on both sides, two drawstrings on both sides of the gown. So you keep on doing this, and when you approach the when you reach the half length you will use your machine to hold down your string so that it won't pull off when you draw it you will do you will do the same for the second string so i'll go ahead and insert two strings on both sides of my dress 
i'm doing this on the sides but if you want you can make this channel to be at the center of your gown or at the left side of the gown you can just place the drawstrings anywhere you want at any position you want on your gown i'm doing this because i want the drawstrings to be on the sides you can make it to be at the center of your gown just place it and run a siege in between so that you have two channels for your two string you, you are free to place it at any position you desire on your gown so when you approach the waistline always always remember to hold it down with your sewing machine so that it won't pull off so i'm done the next thing that i will do right now is to place is to place my bodies on the lower part of my gown so this is the upper part i have read the zipper allow the seam on the zipper allowance and i'll go ahead and join the upper part and the lower part together after that i will insert my zipper and i will insert my sleeves and that is all guys that is all for this gown so after doing that this is what i have this is the finished look of the dress you are free to place your drawstring anywhere you want it to be so this is my gown after drawing the strings i hope it is beautiful feel free to like it and drop a comment if you have any questions thank you so much guys for watching please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be notified so this is how i styled it this is how i style this for this at the side 